Okay YouTube, this is part two of how to program your flashlight driver and we've got our AVR programmer box and everything all set up so what you need to do now is download a compiler. I use Atmel Studio 6.2. Uh, it's a free program and it works pretty well. Uh, this is how it looks when it gets started and what you'll want to do is go new project and GCC executable file. Down here you'll name your application. Uh, we're going to go testing 1234 and over here click browse so that you can choose where to put the file otherwise it'll just be in a random location you can't find it. Okay, and down here, click OK. This program sometimes seems like it's not responding, but it's actually just sort of slow. The version 4 was nice because it was lightning fast, but it wasn't as good for compiling. I keep both on my computer just so if I'm in a hurry, I can use 4 because 6.2 is... It's, it's got to be like the slowest program I've ever seen. Okay, now we're there. So up here at the top, this drop down menu, uh, click Tiny 8 bit, Tiny AVR 8 bit, and that'll reduce this menu. And you come down here to where it says Tiny 13A because that's the microchip that's on the flashlight drivers, the ones we're using. And go to the internet, and you don't want to you don't want to write your own code from scratch. If you haven't done this, that's impossible. But there is a ton of free code on the internet that's really really good. It's open source code, and the best place I know of to get flashlight code is you Google flashlight firmware repository, and click the Launchpad link, and come down here, browse the code. And these are all people, this whole list right here is people that are just give, you know, you can use this code and it doesn't cost anything. They've all just loaded it up here for people to use and change and do whatever they want. Uh, the one I like, uh, that I use the most is by Johnny C. And the star code is what we're going to use today. Uh, star off time. The off time one is for the MOSFET driver because it has the off time memory. It memorizes the mode when the light goes off. The uh, regular version for the 105C drivers is what you'll want to use because it has on time memory. And just open the C code. Now we're going to copy all of this code right here all the way to the bottom and go back to our compiler and this window has opened now and you can leave this code here or not it just says this was created this day by whoever I just get rid of it because it's we don't need it and then paste all of the code that we just got now something else you'll want to do uh, you can see that I have uh, line numbers over here but by default this does not have that you have to enable it so you go like this because you're going to want those numbers go tools text editor all languages general and then right here it's line numbers uh, I'll show you see it removed it and we're going to add that back on there Okay, because there's, I mean, hundreds of lines of code here, and if you don't know where you're at and you change one little thing and trying to go back to it is really hard, but you really won't have to make a lot of changes to this code. They've really done a good job here of laying this out in a way that a novice can change it to whatever they want. 
and basically you scroll down all of the past all of that first bit that's in green there and right here it says settings to modify per driver so just the things in this block are all you'll really need to change by default this program is three mode but you can make it be four mode five mode whatever and you can see right here how these are blue that means that these modes right here are all enabled uh, low medium high is disabled but turbo is on and the turbo timer is enabled and if you wanted to say go down to having only two modes all you have to do is click right here and make a double backslash and you see that turns green they call that commenting out that means that's now disabled okay or if you want to bring one of the functions online like the the ramp down function for the turbo you just bring it online all of these numbers here are the values of how high the output level is for each mode like this low mode is set for 14 medium mode 39 and on up maximum full 100 percent output is 255 on this so to get percentages like three five you know ten you'd have to do a little bit of math but basically you want these numbers to grow in a linear fashion uh, because if you did 255 and 125 125 is not going to look visually like half of 255 it's going to look almost identical so they they start low mode is 14 and then they about triple it and they go to 39 and then you go way up the high mode is 255 and that'll give you it visually it looks even okay so once we've made all our changes here and you have whatever you want enabled or disabled you come up to the top where it says build and click that and go build solution okay uh, zero errors, warnings, that's not a big deal. I've used this code enough time to know that's not a problem. Uh, most of the time, as long as you don't have errors, you're okay. Sometimes, even then, it still works, but uh, we're good to go here. So, what we're going to do now is come up here on the right side along this top area here, and you see a little microchip with a lightning bolt through it. And I've got my my AVR box plugged into the computer now and click that and that will cause this program to link up with the programmer box uh, a tiny 13 a is the device this AVR MKII that's what we're going to use so apply and then come down here to memories now I have a bunch of code in here so I could select whatever from right here I could use any program in the computer but we're just going to use this one we wrote a minute ago and so now we're we're ready to program the driver and what you what you do is like I said I've got my pin 1 marked here and on this driver pin 1 is this bottom corner so I'll just clip this alligator clip right on the top of there and it'll interface with the micro now this program will actually make sure that you're clipped on there correctly in the last video I said that sometimes these clips don't interface correctly and what will happen if you don't have the thing on there just right you're not getting contact you, okay erasing device failed you'll get some kind of an error it, it will tell you now uh, if in fact you get the clip on there correctly Here's what you'll get. Whoops. There we go. Okay. Erasing device, programming, verifying, we're good to go. As long as it says that, you, you typically you got the flash. I don't think I've ever had it say that it flashed and not got a program driver. I guess it's possible, but basically now you have whatever uh, firmware that you had there programmed onto this micro you go hook it up you're golden um, 
that's all for this video. I'm going to try to load up some, I'm going to elaborate on some of these other things. Feel free, questions, comments, whatever you need, I'll try to help you the best I can. I'm far from the expert on this, but that's why I thought I'd make a video is to show that, you know, if I can do it, so can you. So, thanks for watching.